a guy in chat asked me to show how to harass effectively with a blade master and windwalk. He said he can't for the life of him figure out how. So let's do it. We're orc against undead. And our job is going to be to harass with blade master and be as annoying as possible. So it's all good and well to make an altar at the right time and to make a blade master and to train windwalk and then to use it and to start clicking the enemy units and heroes. But the real question isn't, should we make windwalk and go to him? It's how, of course, how do we use it? So the first question you need to answer, what race are you playing against? And where do you think they will creep? What do you know about them? Now, if you're a cute little nublet, like most likely the person that asked in chat, you're not gonna know anything. Your insight is like very low. So it's better instead of guessing to just do. So the build that I'm showing now is gonna be the most effective. Notice how after altar, I have three on wood. After the three on wood, that's when you send the peon out. And you're not gonna check their main base. Checking main base gives very little useful information to cute little nublets. Because by the time your altar peon comes out and goes to them, there isn't much to see yet. So instead you send one peon later, which is the one that I just talked about. You go for an altar, burrow, barracks, and then shop. Then you get the 20 population peon. And then you're gonna get the 21 population peon. So it's a one burrow uh, tech, one blade, one grant. And the reason that I'm not going towards the opponent right away is because we're going to want to take one permanent item. This makes our blade a little stronger and it makes anything we do afterwards more effective. So the peon is going to go towards the first most obvious creep camp that they could be at. You skill windwalk, you make sure to arrive at the creep with blade and grunt at the same time so the grunt doesn't get ensnared. And you just keep the peel on here to see if they're starting their green camp. Again, it's it's too hard. We're gonna go to 21 pop. It's too hard for you to like go in and manage creeping at the same time. So that's how we do it. Then we're gonna send our grunt into the map. We sell TP and we buy all of this good stuff. All of the items. We tech the tier two. The money checks out very nicely. We kill every little cute animal on the map. And we see him, so that's really nice. And we see Dreadlord first. Now we're gonna try to pull these creeps into him. And then another burrow. And now the harass begins. So now you just attack anything you can and want. And his grunt, his ghoul just uh, ran into the. The natural, he's lost another goal. All nice and well. He just slept me. How can he sleep? So the one thing that many orcs do with their blade, they start hitting things and then they get hit back. But the best thing is to hit and not be hit back. So never fight against superior numbers. Use your speed to attack things that are low. So how were we able to do this? Well, he did a delayed, he did a delayed altar, so early crypt for more ghouls, because he wanted to do the dreadlord thing. We kept our peel near the green camp, and then we messed with the creeps. Now, many orcs, what they would do is they would wind walk in here, but there's no reason to, is there? Wind walking hides information. He doesn't know where you are, but we don't need info. We know where he is. Or we can steal creeps. I was too late. We can probably kill another ghoul. If we micro well. Okay. That's good enough. The main goal is to destabilize their creeping. Creeping ourselves is a uh, secondary. So let's think of a cute little nublet follow up. 
I'd say Shadow Hunter second, Bestiary, and then expanding is going to be a really solid follow up. So let's do it. Now you see why we have two heal solves early investment. So we don't need to first go home and we can heal on the way out. Let's talk about alternatives. If Arpion was here and we didn't see him here, we have to assume he's coming for our base. Last Refuge is a very straightforward map where you creep your own corner. So this camp is too hard for him. This camp is too hard at level one. That means that he's going probably straight to your base, tower rushing you. So expansion for Orc takes quite long. So we can stay in the vicinity and creep things nearby. Uh, multitasking with Windwalk for most orcs is very difficult. While creeping with Shadow, it's much safer just to add your Blade Master's tanking and damage to help him to level up the Shadow Hunter. Just creep together. And we do all that while we're near. And what we can do is do like a relatively simple camp like this one. You hex the inner fire guy. Once you get level three, you just shift click past a couple of places. And then you make sure not to hyper focus on your shadow hunter. You just mostly look at the minimap. And you see, okay. Finish this. Get warm mail. Okay. So now we roughly know where he is. There he is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide, rewind walk, stay near with Shadow, and he's coming for our expo. Okay. So uh, what what do you focus? Dreadlord has two rings, so not the Dreadlord. He has no coil, so fiends are easy kills. Keep making raiders. And then just go for the ghouls. And uh, try to like hold position your units next to each other. So that grunts um, can't get surrounded and picked off by ghouls. Try to do surrounds like this. Just do it. And you take four peons when it's 80%. And uh, you send it to your expo. So here's a cool trick to creep the ogre lord. Wait till he goes home. Then ensnare him. And snare him again. Then, when the snare runs out, you pretend to give him a way out, like this, but never actually giving him a way out. That way he keeps hope and he never hits you. If you full surround him, it activates the, what I call the amazing mechanic. The anti-maging, the anti-mazing mechanic. Anti-mazing in Warcraft 3 means that when an AI unit notices they're fully surrounded, but they want to go home to their creep spot, they start hitting anything. Could be buildings. They get fixated too, like Jacob got fixated on Bella's daughter in Twilight. So they get fixated, they chase a unit, even if you try to aggro toggle to another unit. Then, uh, when that happens, they will attack you and you will take damage. And this is not good. So if you constantly give them a way out, you prevent the amazing mechanic from activating. And you do that by making a surround. And then having the grunt walk in on them, out on them, in on them, out on them. So that they constantly have two hexes to occupy. Then you just make a bunch of tier 2 stuff. You trickle in a couple of extra peons now and then. Chompers. Oh. 
Burrow not done yet. He just coiled the uh, illusion of Raider. <laughs> What is Hachette? Is it food? Like a, a burger from mincemeat or something? GG, grub to the sub. <laughs> 